Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Preet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. Today's topic is Ecological Succession. Ecological succession, it is a process of change in the species structure of a community over a period of time. Again, I am repeating, it is a change of species structure of a community over a period of time. You can better understand by taking a, an example of our own school. In the premises of school, there are different kind of plant species. Okay. For example, there are some barren areas and other than the barren areas, there is lush green grasses. Some trees are present over there. And if you see carefully at the wet areas, bryophytes are present and also on the rocks actually the surface where stones are present if you observe carefully lichens are present over there so this particular composition of plants it is not going to be the same okay after a period of time and what period of time let's say after 10 years or million of years this composition will not remain same there will be a final community of plants okay which will be equilibrium with environment and that community is known as climax community clear actually in ecological succession there is interaction okay interaction between biotic and abiotic components and these interactions, it leads to the change in the composition of species. Okay, let's say only plant species. This is very important that this change, it is orderly. Orderly means it follows a order, particular order and sequential and parallel with the change in the physical environment. So, it takes along the physical environment so change in the species composition of a given area are collectively known as ecological succession there are three types of ecological or successional communities one is a pioneer community second it is the transitional or serial community and the last one or final one is climax community i will begin with pioneer community it is the first biotic community that develops in a barren area and that is why it is known as pioneer community pioneer means which starts first okay which are the beginners for example on a rock on a barren rock what are the first organisms that grow over there they are not the bryophytes they are not the higher plants certainly they are lichens so lichens they are pioneer community after that is the transitional or sealer community the pioneer community it is followed by specific sequence of a series of plant communities okay it is not a single stage but there is a series of plant communities and it is known as serial communities that is why this is the biggest clue okay clue is in the title that is why it is known serial community because there is a series of plant, plant species and example is bryophytes herbs shrubs okay so lastly we have the climax community this is the last community in biotic succession and it is relatively very stable and it is in equilibrium with climate one important point the entire series of communities occurring in the biotic succession is called series clear for example firstly there is lichen then there will be bryophytes or mosses then liverworts or herbs shrubs so all they are collectively known as siri okay and individual um a transitional community it is known as serial stage or serial communities let's discuss about the process of succession there are certain steps 
to complete succession firstly it is nudation second migration third germination fourth access fifth colonization and aggregation sixth competition and coaction seventh invasion eighth reaction and ninth stabilization so i will define them briefly firstly nudation what is nudation it is the exposure of an area for example a rock it is barren so it will be exposed after that the second step is migration there will be migration of propagules okay what are the propagules they can be seeds spores or other structures other reproductory structures and the third is germination what is happening over here when the conditions will be favorable these propagules they will germinate fourth is access successful germination of propagules and establishment on a barren area is known as access fifth is colonization and aggression aggregation after access the individual of the species they increase in number as a result of reproduction so new colonies will be formed and there will be aggregation okay sixth step is competition and co uh, action due to limited sources species they show both inter and intra specific type of competition and what does the competition does it results in elimination of unsuitable species or you can say there is uh, survival for the fittest okay according to darwin's law okay coming to the seventh step it is invasion various other types of plants they try to establish in those species on those spaces sorry which are left or which are eliminated by other species when there was competition some species they were eliminated okay so there was a space formed and due to this space which is formed uh, uh, over there some species they will try to establish over there this is known as invasion after that is reaction the newly arrived plants they will interrupt with the existing species so there will be some reactions and uh, each plant in the competition it will try to fit in that area so there will be some reactions so what will happen finally that species will be fit in that area which will be stronger than the other species finally it is stabilization stabilization means uh, establishment of that community which is which is equilibrium with environment okay some characteristic features of Uh, climax community the climatic uh, climax community okay it has larger size of individual complex organization complex food chains and complex food webs okay there will be more efficient energy use and there will be more nutrient conservation due to some cycles okay which are meant for recycling the nutrients depending upon the type of ecosystem succession is of two types one is zero arch and another is hydro arch zero arch is that succession okay where zeric or mesic conditions are present okay while in hydro arch it is mainly related with aquatic bodies in zero arch again there will be three types of communities one will be the pioneer community and again it will start with lichen on some barren land okay then there will be transitional communities okay in transitional communities there are certain stages for example the first stage is moss stage moss stage means 
the mosses okay after lichens mosses are the plants which grow on the barren area then there will be some annual grass this stage is in fact known as annual grass stage next stage will be perennial grass stage perennial grass stage means um plants actually these are the those plants which can grow from year to year okay for example cymopogon then there will be shrub stage in shrub stage the plants will be shrubs okay and finally there will be climax community that community which is in equilibrium with environment so it will begin with lichen then bryophytes then herbs shrubs and finally forests this is about xeric or you can say mesa arc succession then there will be hydra arc succession it begins in the aquatic habitat again it will have three stages first pioneer community and in pioneer community other than lichens there will be phytoplanktons these are the first plants which grow in a water body then there will be transitional communities in transitional communities there are four stages the first one is submerged plant stage second will be submerged free floating plant stage third will be reed swamp stage and fourth will be marsh meadow stage and there will be fifth stage which is known as shrub stage so i will define them briefly firstly in submerged plant stage what is happening the plants they are submerged inside the water and example is hydrilla then submerged free floating plant stage in the first stage sorry in submerged plant stage the roots they are in the mud but what is happening over here in this stage submerged free floating plant stage what is roots they are not connected with soil they are free floating third stage is reed swamp stage okay this stage it is present at a shallow area okay where you, know, you can say there is a amphibian uh, plants uh, can grow over there that is why it is known as reed swamp stage reeds are actually amphibious plants example is typha third a fourth stage is marsh meadow stage reed stamp then it is invaded by marshy plants and example is juncus okay or carex for uh, a e stage it is shrub stage and example we have salix or populus and in climax stage which already i have told you it is equilibrium with environment and it will be forest so the order of ecological succession in water will begin with phytoplanktons then submerged plant stage submerged free floating plant stage reed swamp stage marsh meadow stage shrub stage and forests Thank you for listening to this lecture in case you have any question you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com